it's Chip Honeycutt here. I'm with Tony Martins. He's a noted outdoor hunting uh, writer. Now, Tony was instrumental in getting air guns approved for hunting in Arizona. Now, Tony, tell us how that process went, because there are folks who are always asking Crosby, what can we do to help them get some new regulations in place or some laws changed? You were successful at it. We need some tips on how to help these folks. Well, the key is to work with the folks that are going to make those regulations. And uh, most of the game and fish departments are open to new ideas. And basically in Arizona, we had a couple of um, fairly well-known and large profile air gun uh, outlets uh, with a big following. And the guys that shoot targets say, hey, we'd like to be able to use these guns with animals. And so they got a little core group of guys together. They approached Arizona Game and Fish um, with their ideas on how to expand air gun hunting opportunities because Arizona has a wealth of small game animals, okay. but we also have a bunch of big game animals. Yes, and you do. Some of these big bore guns are every bit capable as a center fire or even a bow of taking a big game animal cleanly and ethically. And so, uh, so they planted the seed. They they were able to get the state agency to listen to their initial plea. Unfortunately, the big concern is wounding. A lot of people that don't know about air guns and what their capabilities are are concerned that they don't want to create more wounded animals in the field and of course Arizona Game and Fish is worried about that as well and that's pretty much where I came in. Uh, I had some experience with the guns and I approached it being a writer from a little bit more of a scientific approach than an emotional approach. Okay. And so we compiled enough data to convince those folks in our secondary go around that these guns were capable and we made specific recommendations uh, in terms of which animals could be used with which types of guns and how much energy was required to cleanly dispatch different categories of animals. From a, it's different from a tree squirrel to a coyote to a black bear or a deer. And so we laid all that out for them very cleanly and we tried to remove the emotional aspect. I want to use my air gun to hunt. Well, maybe we can and maybe we can't, but what else have you got to go with it? Well, once we provided all that data with, with help from Crossman, of course, um, and laid it out in front of them. And then we took it the next step. Once we had established the interest within the game and fish department, then we got the commissioners involved. Okay. And now we couldn't have done that on ourselves as a grassroots group. We had to have the support of the, of the department first. So once we got the support of the state agency and they formed a committee to research this, then we were able to take it the next step to the commissioners. And what sold it to the commissioners, besides the data that we provided, was that hands-on demonstration. Not only did they get to shoot targets, but I had various hardwoods and metals so they could see the penetration studies for themselves. They could see how much power the 357 Rogue generated, for example. Um, they could shoot through a gel block and see, my gosh, that penetrates like a 22 yep. with the 25 caliber Marauder. And so, so we did it, I think, differently than other groups that have tried it because it took us two years. We did all the legwork. And we tried to remove a lot of the emotional and uh, take away the objections before they could become public and be, be blown out of proportion and into a big deal by taking the scientific approach. That's a, well, that's, that's a great tip there. Just uh, We appreciate it. Now, I, those regulations in Arizona just started this past season. On July 1st, everything went into effect, and uh, the changes were pretty sweeping. Um, we, now, we now have probably about 40 different animals in the state of Arizona that are legal to hunt with air guns. From big game animals like uh, deer and um, black bear, mountain lion, um, down to all the way down to the little animals like uh, quail and uh, Eurasian doves and ground squirrels and tree squirrels and rabbits that uh, you know kind of have been the bailiwick of air gun hunting. And then we've got that whole predator category in the middle. And Arizona has a wealth of predators with the bobcats and the coyotes and the foxes and uh, the ringtail cats and uh, coatis and a lot of these other interesting animals that are now all legal to hunt with the right air gun. That, that's and, fantastic. You know, we've got on, on Crosman.com in the university section, go to Crosman.com slash university, we have an air gun species chart that go, it talks about what species are legal in every state and it's a great starting point go with that chart and then go to your local wildlife and confirm what your local regulations are tony thank and you, you can say look what arizona did absolutely let's <laughs> take it to the next level thanks a lot tony <laughs>